Hi, I'm Achuta from St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, welcoming you to this YouTube channel. This video is for the paper Foundation Course 1. Here in this video, we'll see about handling customer orders and inquiries. This is very important in the present scenario. You must be handling the customer's orders and uh, inquiries. And how will you do that? Organizations selling products or offering services often receive phone calls from customers for uh, placing orders of their products and uh, asking for any particular service or sometimes to make inquiries. So these things will be happening when within the organization. You can easily say customer care. And it is important that every such call is handled carefully. This is important, handled carefully and ensured that the customers are a happy lot at the end of the call. So you must be customer satisfactory term to make the customer to get the product. So this is very important in the customer care situation. You must be pleasing enough in your tone to make the customer satisfied. So how we can handle this customer's orders and queries. Now, so business house, whenever some, when we receive some calls, the business house will have certain template. So business house selling products or services usually have templates to be filled. So when you are uh, going to order a book, order something else, they'll be having, so for example, in a fast track, you're going to make a um, travel ticket. They'll be having certain template in a ready hand and they'll be asking those questions and you must answer to those questions. So it can be as your first name, last name, your age, your address and uh, from where you're calling and uh, and where your journey is going to be from and uh, to and uh, at which date you're going and uh, which class compartment you are needed and are you going to pay in a online mode or in a cash mode those things will be asked as a questions and you need to reply accordingly so that is called as perfect templates they'll be having it ready hand and they'll be asking to it and if you are taking an order you may have to ask the customer for many items of information and uh, you may ask for information using a mix of wh questions so how we can ask these information you can ask with the help of WH questions, questions beginning with the modal verbs too. So these things can uh, happen and you must be aware of using those terms. So how will we make a question? So here are certain examples for some questions. How about direct question and indirect question? Direct question means using WH term. Indirect question uses the modal auxiliary verbs. So when do you want it? It can be asked as, can you tell me when you need it? What is your telephone number? It can be asked as, can I have your telephone number, please? Where would you like to go? So it can be as, could you tell me where you are traveling to? These are the ways of direct and indirect questions. And not only direct questions and indirect questions, it can be as a S or no type questions also. This is called as, um, close with polarity questions so sometimes it may also be in a poll format that is will you pay by card or cash yes or no do you have a mobile number too yes or no those will be the reply either polls will be the reply and not only polarity questions that can be incomplete questions too you need not make a full sentence to make a question so using incomplete question also remember in a natural conversation not all questions seeking information may be your full fully framed question so look at these examples this is a conversation between a and b so could i have your first name please it's stephen and your last name is if you give a gap there they'll be filling the answer so richard and your age so this is a short question so this type of incomplete questions can also be used to making um seeking information thanks for watching this is a simple video how you can seek information and handle customer in a simple humble questionnaire way thanks for watching